Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Our subject matter for today is all about hygiene and sanitation. But before that, before we proceed to our discussion, allow me first to introduce myself. I am the instructor for today. I'm Captain Maricel C. Gortel, ODAS 1491-74, Philippine Army Reserve. Designation, PLV ROTC Unit Tactical Officer. Present assignments, Battalion Executive Officer at the same time, Company Commander of the Quarters and Quarter Service Company of 13 Offers, 307 Country Battalion, 13 Offers, Community Defense Center, NCRR, CDG, Paris Com, Philippine Army. In regards to my significant schoolings, I graduated Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Home Economics. At Surigao Resort, Political State College, Cantilan Campus, I am a native Surigao man from Surigao Resort. In I finished my Master of Arts in Education last 2012, major in Home Economics at Philippine Normal University, Manila. And presently, I'm taking up my public administration at Baliwag University. I am also the product of Advanced RPC Class 2005-2006. The scope of our topic for today is about hygiene, sanitation, Disease acquired, control measures, waste disposal, roles in constructions of other types of latrine, care of feet during the marches and patrols, health maintenance and sanitary practice, measures to protect and inform health responsibility for military sanitation. When we see hygiene, this is the science that deals with health and preventions and maintenance. Ito ay ang pag-aaral na tumutupoy sa kalusugan, kapag-iwas sa mga sakit, at pagpapanatili ng marusog. Then, personal hygiene measures taken by the individual to preserve his own health. Ito yung sariling pamamaraan ng isang tao upang mapanatili ang kanyang kalusugan. In health is the state of individual who enjoy complete physical, mental, and social well-being. When you say health, meaning free from disease, pain, not only physical, but in the aspect of mental and social aspect. Then let's discuss the importance of personal hygiene. It protects an individual or group against diseases. But, uh, ito ang pagprotekta sa sarili at sa mga taong nakapalipid sa atin laban sa sakit. It promotes sounds and positive total health, meaning nagtataguyot ng maayos at magandang kalusugan. Then it improves of the event of even best one's morale. It, meaning to say, it increases self-confidence in dealing with others. Then personal hygiene. What are those under the personal hygiene? First one, personal cleanliness. Hindi lamang panlabas. Hindi kasama dito yung ating kalinisan sa balat, hands, hair, and even tawi ng pananamit natin. Next is the daily bath. Pero araw na pagpaliko. In special care of food, care of mouth, and teeth. These are parts under the personal hygiene. Then, the food and drinks. It covers kung ano yung food na pinakain at inuunin natin. Original food and drinks, pinanggalin ng pagkain at ng mga inuunin natin. Is it properly prepared? Napa-importante that we should know over the proper food sanitation. Then, proper exercises. Then, we have relaxations and recreations. Those activities that makakafeel ka ng, relax ng relaxation or marilak yung sarili mo. Like for example, diving, swimming, playing basketballs, at mga pang iba. Then when we talk about personal hygiene, hindi lang puro physical ito. It includes the healthy mind. Ito yung ipresent uh, kalapit dito, ang pagpapanatili ng malusog na kaisipan. Sinasabi, 
preserve, pag malusog ang kaispan, it preserve at it and establish a healthy mental attitudes and emotional reactions. Meaning, you can control your thoughts, your feelings, and behaviors and able to cope up with life challenges. Then, we have exercises. Exercises, the conditioned body and mind also to wear out but unnecessary fats and calories sa katawan nyo. Then, sanitation. Sanitation is the science of using measures that prevent diseases and to promote individual health. Ito yung proseso of maintaining cleanliness upang maiwasan ang mga sakit at pagpapanatili ng malasug na kalusugan. So, we have felt sanitation. So, sinasabing felt sanitation, this is the prevention of diseases by eliminating or controlling factors which we form linked to disease transmission. Ito yung pagsupo ng mga sakit sa pamagitan na pagkontrol ng mga, dahil, ng mga dahilan ng paglipat ito. Then, the use of measures to create and maintain helpful environment conditions. Ito yung mga paggamit ng ibang pamamaraan upang mapanatili ang mga malusog. Ang malusog na kapalik rin at tangan. Then, the factors which form link and disease transmission. Ano ang mga ito? Na maging magdulot sa pag-transfer ng mga sakit sa atin. The first one is the water. Ang fake, yung mga inintake natin tubig. Is it safe? Then, food supplies. Mga pinanggaling ng pagkain natin. Rest, mga basura. Insect, mga insekto. At, at syempre, yung surroundings natin. Yung environment natin. Next is water. When we say about water, as we all know, this is the basic needs for existence of life. Sinasabi, no man can last for more than four to five days without drinking water. Ganun din siguro sa mga hayop, sa lahat ng mga may buhay. Water is utilized. Pinagamit natin ito, of course, sa pagpapaligo, pagluluto, paghuhugas, at maraming pag iba ng mga, ng mga gawain natin sa ating pag-araw. Then, impurities of water can be treated by paano daw ang mga paraan para maging safe na inumin ang tubig. First one is use of chloride. As we all know, chloride is the powerful germicide. Ito yung chemical na nilalagay para subuin o patayin yung mga germs o microorganism na hindi nakikita ng ating mga mata. Then, 8 to 10 drops of iodine per 1 gallon of water to purify the water. And then, of course, this is basic talaga, boiling for at least 30 minutes before natin kaitake or gamitin ang tubig. Then, the sources, the different sources of water. We have surface water, clean water, underground water, and the public water supplies. When we see surface water, Ito yung mga bodies of water na nakikita natin at the earth's surface. Halimbawa nito are oceans, streams, ponds, or lawa. Sinasabi dito, the thir almost, surface water almost 30 contaminated except two surrounding stream and stream and moisture are residents. Kung saan namimintin ang mga namirahan dito na malinis ang tubig from the surface water na kinuha nila. Then, in other countries like Saudi Arabia, one of the main source of their freeze water or water, uh, water na pinanggalingan nila ay from the oceans in which dumadaan ito sa prosesong tatawag na desalinations kung saan in-extract ang salt dun sa water para maging fresh water at magamit ang lahat. Then we have rainwater as the from the roof, ito yung tubig ulan, underground water, samples of there. These are wells or balon, or spring, or mga bukal galing sa, loob, sa ilalim ng lupa. Then we have public water supplies. Ito yung mga process water na sinusupply from the government or other private company or corporations 
like for example here in Metro Manila, we have Mine Lab, which is the main source of public water supplies. Then what are those acquired diseases na pwede natin makuha o matatransmit sa atin? Mayroon po tawag na respiratory diseases. Ito ay natatransmit sa tao through oral or nasal discharge of, infect of infected individual. Halimbawa ito, halimbawa sa mga sakit ay tuberculosis, TB, and colds. Then, intestinal diseases. Ano ang mga ito? Ito ay natatransmit sa atin through the food and waters that we intake that has become contaminated with animals or human manure and urine of the, inf of the infected person. Then we have insect bites diseases that are transmit to the tao through insect bites. Some of, disease, oh, some of those diseases are malaria and dengue. Then we have VD or STD. VD means venereal disease or sexual transmitted disease. Ito yung etnipas from one person to other person, through blood, uh, semen, and other bodily fluids. Um, so, ilan sa mga libawa na masakit na ito ay, ay ang HIV, herpes virus, syphilis, at naranta. The next other acquired diseases, ito may tinatawag na dermatophytosis. From the root word derma, ito ay sakit sa panlabas. For example, nakikita ang mga sakit na ito sa balat ng tao. Uh, this is the infections of the hair, skin, nails, and other. And one sa pasok din dito ang atin sports. Next, the five factors in the transmissions of, in, of intestinal diseases. Ano ito? First one is food, of course. Ang kinakain natin isa sa mga factor na magtatransmit ng sakit sa ating chat. In fingers, as we all know, from, heat, uh, from food to mouth at sa lahat ng mga ginagawa natin, ay talagang ginagamit na ng natin ng fingers natin. So, we make sure that always wa ay washing of hands frequently ay malaking bagay at nakakatulong sa atin. In flies, ito yung mga langaw, fluids, either urine from the infected persons, then feces, ito yung mga dumi mula sa tao o sa mga hayop man. And what are those control measures para maiwasan ang pagkakaroon at paglipat ng mga sakit na ito? First one is avoid close contact, close physical contact to positive identified carrier of disease. And then, proper ventilations of quarters. So to eat na kailangan nakakasirculate yung hangin sa loob ng quarters. Then, water purification, it should be free or uh, sip the inumin. Careful selections and preparations of food. Tamang pupili ng pagkain, na kinakain at hinahanda. Maintenance of misanitations, kung saan pinaprepare lahat ng pagkain sa isang camp, napaka-importante na palagi itong maginis. Proper waste disposal at tamang pagtatapon ng basura. Then, the last one is the personal hygiene, which is napaka-importante dahil wala pong ibang gagawa nito kundi tayo mismo sa sarili natin. Hindi pwede ito idikta kung ayaw mo namang gawin, kaya sinasabing ikaw lang ang maging solusyon nito. Then, let's proceed to the waste disposal in the field. When we see waste, a general term covering all types of refuse resulting from the living activities of human or animals. Ito yung pangkalahatang termino na, na sumasaklaw sa lahat ng klase ng basura. Ito man ay karing sa tao or hayo. Uh, we need to talk about uh, waste disposal. We need to look at these three categories. Human waste, the liquid waste, and the rubbish waste. When we see raw human waste, sinasabi dito, Palakip dito yung mga uh, dumi ng tao at ihi. Then liquid waste, ito yung mga dumi na nagagaling sa kusina natin, sa palikuran, sa palikuan. Then we have rubbish, ito yung mga basura na nabubulok or binabubulok or nalulusaw 
or di nalulusaw. Any of these factors, kung hindi daw ito properly madidispose, it can be a breeding ground of disease and occurring insects ng animals. Kaya kailangan panatilihin itong malinis at gawin ng tama. Then let's talk about the system. The system used for proper waste disposal in the field. What are the system? Ito yung mga, system, ay, mga pamamaraan o sistema na ginagamit sa field para ma-maintain yung proper disposal sa area. We have straddle train slot train. But before pag sinasabi niya train, ito yung uh, it refers to a toilet or simple facility used as toilet without a bowl. Nakikita natin. Uh, let's go back to straddle train slot train. Ito daw ay ginagamit for short pipe box and belt training exercise. Ginagamit for two to three days. Then may specific measure siya, bawat trenches. So here at the right, makikita nyo para may apat na kanal. Yun, dito, dito dumudumi ang mga tao. Uh, yung mga uh, nasa field ng mga sundalo natin, ito yung designated area. Kung saan, after the meeting, tinatakpan nila ng lupa para uh, hindi ito pasukan ng mga insekto o langaw na maging kalat at magtutulot ng sakit. Then we have borehole or cat feet latrine. It is used naman daw during marching and patrolling ng mga tropa natin. It covered immediately with dirt after use. Nakikita niyo dito, meron ding naka-specific na measurement para to make sure na hindi ito pwedeng, uh, hindi siya pwedeng basta-basta mahukay ng mga animal sa paligid or mga hayop na nakakalat sa paligid. Kasi ito ay ginagamit kung ang tropa ay on the move or moving. Okay, next, we have Pella Train. From the word pin, ito yung timba or uh, lata na ginagamit. Ito daw ay ginagamit, this kind of latin ay ginagamit. Kung ang ground is too hard for digging, hindi pwedeng or is it mabato ba, or hindi pwedeng uh, mahukay, mahirap pukayin, or the water level is too high. So, this is the kind of latin na pwede gamitin. Then we have urine soak pit. So, sabi urine soak pit, ito naman ay ginagamit to prevent accumulations of liquid waste. What some of those liquid waste are from the water, from the shower, the sink, and the felt kitchen. Shown here, this is the sample of the urine soak pit. Dito yung inlet, papasukan ng tubig, and then papasok dito, makikita natin. Uh, hindi para maiwasan ang pagkalat at pag, ah, pagkalat ng, ng tubig, maruming tubig galing dito. And then, uh, it, it is properly covered para hindi pasukan ng mga lamok. Baka ba, pag, pag hindi maayos ang pagkagawa nito, ay maging dahilan or maging breeding ground ng mga lamok na magdudulot naman ng sakit sa loob, na, sa loob ng kampo o sa field. Then we have the general rules in constructions of all types of latrine. First, it should be all at least 100 yards away from the unit miss and uh, from the water services, from the nearest water services to ensure from free, free from contaminations. Then, there is a screen should be placed around the latrine para hindi pasukin ng mga insekto or mga hayop. Then, we have Installed a hand wash device. Ugasan ang designated my area para sa ugasan ng mga kamay. It should be kept clean and polished when meeting laging malinis. Always treat it with chemical, chemical disinfectant spray inside to prevent potification sa vermin. Meron mga chemical na ginagamit para ilagay yung spray dun sa area para mabilis madikompose yung mga animal ay ah, yung mga uh, dumi ng tao at saka ma-prevent ma po so na pagdami ng mga 
fermin, ito yung mga micro, uh, ito yung mga form insecto na nasa loob. Then, the care of feet during marches and patrolling. First, bring at least five pairs of tissue socks with you. Keep socks clean and dry. Change sweet or damp socks as soon as possible. Wash your feet daily. Avoid tight socks and boots, of course. Wear the shoes to keep feet dry. We were of feet socks from sweating. So, sabi, sweating, avoid unnecessary conditions. Okay. What are these examples? Pagkakaroon ng sakit. Ito yung tawag natin at let's first. Show here are the proper way of hand washing. Okay. Okay, let's take about hygiene and sanitations. Personal hygiene and sanitations is every soldier's responsibility. A command is the mirror of its commander. The state of health of men and the conditions they work in reflect the leadership, discipline, and supervisions in the unit. Dito tinatalakay na ang personal daw na kalimisan ay responsibilidad ng bawat sindalo. Ang estado ng kalusugan at kondisyon ng bawat isa sa loob ng kampo ay sumasalalim sumasala sa pamumuno, disiplina, pangasiwa ng isang unit commander. Next, it is important to practice hygiene and sanitations, not only para mapakita itong bilang halimbawa, kundi to share also, uh, pati na rin, of course, pati na rin upang maibigay ang mga itong mga pangailangan para sa malinis at malusog na kondisyon. Of course, para makamit ang pangunahin na yun ng nasyon. Then, the roles of hygiene and sanitations are simple are simple and easy to follow. But some parties did disregard them. Nasabi, ang mga tuntunin daw ng kanisan ay simple at madaling sundin. Ngunit, may mga ilang talagang hindi magmaingat at binabaliwala ang mga tuntunan na ito. Kaya naman, uh, ito ang kadahilanan upang patuloy na palalahanan at tingnan na sinusunod ang matutunan na ito ng mag, para, mam, para mamitin ang mabuti at malinis na kapaligiran. Next is the roles of hygiene and sanitation are simple and easy. Yung mas nabing kanina. Okay, next. The basic health guidelines. Ano yung mga basic health guidelines? Is na sa basic, ito ay ginagawa natin or pusa natin ginagawa. So, balit, ito na yun ay maging parte para pala maging uh, guidelines, guidelines or paalaala para sa lahat. The first one, always keep your body clean by means of picking up at every day. Sinasabi dito, but your feet, hands, and private parts, at kung mahirap naman ng tubig, uh, make sure you do that twice a week. At kung mahirap talaga, scrap your body regularly. Uh, scrub your body regularly with a clean, with clothes. Punas punas. Then, change your underclothing daily if possible. So, nasabi you know, if, uh, if not, at least twice a week. Inspect them for lice, flies, and other bugs that may be itchy. Next is change clothing. Pagpapalit ng damit. Status, medias, pagkatagat. Pagkapag ito ay nabasa para makaiwas sa sakit, pagkain ng colds, at pitfalls, at iba pa. Then, brush teeth at least twice a day, preferably after waking up and before going to bed. Then, always wash your hands with soap and water after doing fatigue activities or fatigue duties, after engaging in strenuous exercises, before eating, and after coming out for the comfort food. Then, use only your own eating and drinking utensils if possible. Okay, sa mga kasama natin, sa mga sundalo, mayroong mga tinatawag na personal misker na ini-issue bawat isa. Ito yung ginagamit nila para sa pagkain. Sinasabi dito, for the same reason, 
iwasan ang paghihiraman ng mga personal na gamit, kagaya ng pipes, towels, shoes, socks, at iba pa. Next, kung malamok daw, when mosquitoes or other flying insects are present in the area, use this is the proper guidelines of using the mosquito net. That it well around your buildings and ensure there's ne there does that there's no holes before sleeping. Take your anti-malaria tablets regularly. Kung meron man, at kung wala naman, just keep sip of yourself. Then never drink water from any untreated source until it has been declared safe for drinking by your medical officer. Sa lahat ng kampo or fields, ay meron talaga nakatalag, nakatalagang medical officer na mamimaintain ng hygiene and sanitation ng, ba ng, bawat, ng bawat sundalo sa loob ng kampo. At to make sure na sinusunod ang lahat ng mga ito. If kung wala naman daw, considering boiling water, boiling your water at least 15 minutes para matay yung mga harmful bacteria na, na, na nandun sa tubig bago ito gamitin. Then relieve yourself from the area which is designated as the head area for your unit in times na uh, sa panahon ng uh, tawag ng kalikasan, make use the designated area kung saan ka pwede yung gamit, kung saan pwede gamitin, or kung and yung mga designated area na nakalagay yung mga train na pwede gamitin. Then, exercise your muscles and joint regularly. Of course, exercise. Then, avoid venereal diseases. Ano ito? Kagaya ng sinabi kanina. These are the sexual transmitted diseases. Halimbawa, uh, HIV, syphilis, at marami pang iba. Do not associate with infected person who may be curious of these diseases. Kung alam kung may alam ka na isa man sa kanila ay may sakit na ito, just help. Kailangan niya ng tulong report to the medical officer para uh, mapigyan ng pangunahilinas or masubo agad ang sakit. Then as a leader, you must set an example of personal cleanliness and sanitary discipline to your man. If possible, Lahat na dito covered. But shave your bearing lahat. Ang pananamit mo as a leader. Then observe all the precautions, missions about and required. Every, everybody na gawin din ito. Hindi yung ikaw lang. Next in camp sanitation naman, it refers naman uh, to the rules of guidelines of cleanliness and sanitations which soldiers should follow to keep them in the cup. Ano mo ito? Ang mga rules na kailangan sundin ng bawat isa to maintain the cleanliness of the camp. Then, for number one, when putting up the accounts or by box, build them around with a sanitary plan. Kailangan kasama dun sa plano ang sanitary plan. Make provisions for sanitation requirements such as the locations of the valley, the head, and debilitating areas. Next, control your water supply. You require drinking water in a manner approved by the medical officer. When water source is in the stream or sa lawa man or sa ilog, mark separate water points for washing. Ito yung, mark. Ito yung area, a designated area for washing. Ito yung water for cooking for human consumption. Then, when washing and bathing points must be always be downstream from point use for human consumption. And of course, this is the case of tactical camps. These watering points must be well secured against the enemy harassment. Or else, kung pinagalingan ng tubig nyo, ay maging dahilan pa ng uh, kapahamakan ng buong tropa. Okay, that ends my presentation for the day. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat at mag-inat po tayo.